Alicia Cross with Alicia Cross Training. To combat those forward slump shoulders and those tight overworked chest muscles, we need to create some balance by strengthening the opposite muscles, the muscles in the back of the body, the upper back and the back of the shoulder. So I'm going to show you four exercises you can do to strengthen up the back of the shoulders and the upper back. Um, and you'll need a chair and a medium-sized TheraBand. The red one works good for these exercises. And the first one we're going to start with is the band pull-apart. So we'll gather up the ends of the band in our hands to create some resistance, holding those arms out in front of the shoulders. As we start with neutral posture, our feet will be hip distance and parallel, soft knee, letting the knees spin away from each other, balancing the pelvis parallel to the floor, growing tall to the crown of the head as we tuck our shoulder blades into our back pockets, knitting in the front ribs. We're gonna pull the band apart so that the band stretches across the front of our chest, across our sternum, and then return to the starting position. We'll exhale as we pull the band apart, keeping the arms, the elbows, the wrists straight, and return to the starting position. So we're gonna complete about 10 to 12 of these, then take a break and complete another set of 10 to 12. Take a break and then complete the third set of 10 to 12. And after a rest, we'll move on to the second exercise. The next one is the row, and we'll need to anchor our band somewhere secure at about waist height, maybe a little higher. We'll gather up the ends so we can have some resistance, starting with our neutral posture. As we row, we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together, opening up the chest, and then returning to the starting position. Really focus on squeezing the shoulder blade as opposed to the elbows. Imagine the shoulder blades are elevator doors, closing and opening. We'll squeeze them together and then we'll return to neutral, but never slumping through the shoulders. So keeping our neutral posture, rowing by squeezing the shoulder blades 10 to 12 times, taking a rest, completing two more sets of 10 to 12 repetitions before moving on to the third exercise. So this one's a straight arm lat pull down, working the um, latissimus dorsi, nice big muscles in the back. And we'll start by anchoring it up high, make sure it's secure. We can, the higher we set up our hands, the more resistance we'll have. Find that neutral posture, and we'll bring those arms straight down by the sides, maintain straight arms throughout the movements. Really think about squeezing your arms closer to your body to complete the movement. Closing up the space between the arm and the torso. We'll exhale as we pull down, exhaling on exertion. Just feeling the core brace and support us, maintaining neutral posture throughout the movement. So again, three sets of about 10 to 12 repetitions, resting in between. And the last exercise is shoulder depression, helping to move the shoulders down away from the ears. So we'll need a chair. Instead of performing a dip where our elbows bend and straighten, we're instead going to keep our arms straight. So as our hips slide off the edge of the bench, we're going to let our shoulders scrunch up to our ears, keeping the elbows straight, but not hyperextended. So we'll use those back muscles to pull our shoulders down away from our ears, working our lower traps. So as our body moves up and down, it's happening not by bending and straightening the elbows, but by moving the shoulders down and up. We're actively moving the shoulder blades down the back, strengthening those lower traps, the muscles that pull the shoulders down away from the ears. We'll again complete three sets of about 10 to 12 repetition, repetitions of those, and that will complete our back strengthening, upper back, rear delt, shoulder exercises, um, helping to create some balance, relieving the tension in the front of the shoulders and the chest, strengthening up the upper back. I'm Alicia Cross with Alicia Cross Training.